I think the markets are correct. Uh, I think you have a president who at this moment is trying to gauge how bad the reaction is going to be on the right. He's gotten some negative uh, commentary from people like Sean Hannity and Ann Coulter, uh, Laura Ingram. Uh, but I think that uh, having gotten a third degree burn uh, for himself and his party with that last shutdown, he does not want to go there again. So I suspect what you're going to see is the president will accept this deal. And then, as he signaled in that uh, 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 Q&A with reporters a few minutes ago, uh, that he's going to try to scrounge for more money uh, that he can try to repurpose. But yeah. uh, there's no question this is a back down from the president. He's not getting uh, he's getting some wall fencing, but it's the, the kind of fencing that had been built for years before he came into office. He's not getting that concrete wall. Maddie, do you like the deal as, as, as much as we know about it at this point? Well, as was mentioned before, we haven't seen tax, so we don't know exactly what is in this deal yet. But I would look at two things in Washington to indicate how this will move forward. One is which chamber goes first and which uh, in those chambers, how high the margin is by which it passes. We know that the president likes to take his cues sometimes from Republicans on the Hill. And whether or not he gets a lot of support from those Republicans, I think, will indicate how he moves forward. Now, remember, too, we've heard a lot from Mick Mulvaney this past week about extraordinary measures the president can take, repurposing other uh, other monies to accomplish this building of the wall. That, I think, also will be very important to watch. If we hear more about right. that from the administration, that will indicate the president is willing to sign this bill and go it alone on building the wall. John, it's been suggested that maybe the, the path forward for this is through the Republicans in the Senate but more the Democrats in the House. What do you think about that? Well, Republicans in the Senate, by striking this deal, first of all, Richard Shelby, the appropriations chair from Alabama, and by Mitch McConnell saying he's going to put it on the floor and have the Senate act on it, they're essentially declaring a bit of independence from the president. You know, uh, Mitch McConnell, during the negotiations while the shutdown was going on, was saying, I'm not going to strike any deal that I don't know in advance that the president is uh, going to sign. Hmm. He's not waiting now. Uh, he doesn't want to do this again. Mitch McConnell's been very consistently against it. And so even though uh, there isn't a wall here and President Trump's going to have to deal with the embarrassment and uh, uh, finesse that the embarrassment of that, uh, I think the Republicans are going forward. And it, this is an alliance right now between okay. Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell. Which is, <laughs> you know, just hearing that is always interesting. Uh, Maddie, want to ask you about uh, Senator Rubio and not so much the proposal itself. Of course, we can debate the merits of that all day long. Mm -hmm. But what about the politics of this? What does it tell you that he sees this opening and uh, opportunity to kind of piggyback on an op-ed from Schumer and, and Sanders and say, I want to do something about this. Yeah, strange bedfellows here in Washington when you have Senator Rubio agreeing with Senator Sanders on the proper tax treatment of capital gains and dividends. Listen, you heard Elon earlier talk about how Rubio is really adopting the Democrats' talking points on this. I think this is a foolhardy approach for any Re Republican to take. One, because it goes back on the actual re reality of the economics that we've seen in play right now. I'm looking for Re Senator Rubio to, de uh, to demonstrate the harm that he says is caused by buybacks, the notion that no workers have benefited over the past year or so from tax changes in the law. I think that's simply not true. We've seen wages increase for the first time uh, at a pace that we haven't seen in probably 14 years for most earners. And those uh, benefits are accruing to workers at the lower end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. So for Rubio to say that this is an attempt to really take back some of more of that moral arguments on taxi, uh, taxes, it just doesn't seem to be borne out by the actual economics and how it's playing out in the American economy today. And John, it was interesting to me because he's not making any effort to, to tell the story that Maddie is telling and some are saying there is a realignment happening uh, in the GOP where they're moving against you know the, the kinds of things that Maddie's describing and I, I, it's odd Rubio in a way is, is kind of you know he's also pushed for the child tax credit and other things that sound like Democratic talking points but maybe outflanking Trump on the right in terms of a populist message here what, what's your takeaway before we go well, I don't see uh, this as a realignment uh, in what Rubio's doing. Remember, this was Rubio's identity uh, when he ran for president in 2016. He said he was going to be the one who uh, uh, took care of Republicans who lived paycheck to paycheck. He did not um, uh, cast himself in the same way as his Republican uh, competitors. So, uh, and when the tax bill passed in late 2017, he was holding out at the end. He didn't ultimately withhold his vote, but he was holding out for some more of uh, what you might call populist provisions in that bill. So I think as he looks to his political future, mm -hmm. he knows President Trump's not going to be around forever. He's a young man, may want to run for president again, if not uh, simply a re-election in the Senate. 
but he wants to cast himself uh, as the person who is going to defend the interests of average Americans more than the typical Republican. All right. Well, and with all that said, Dow's up 340 points. So uh, choosing to focus on the positives here. Thank you both.